Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How are we all now? Before you go any further in the video, if you could hit that thumbs up button, drop a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated because you might not want to by the time you get to the end of the video. And also going into 2019, I'd love to see some more likes on the video as we try and help to grow the channel. So just you dropping a simple like on the video, it's free for you but it means the world to me. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? It is rewards day. Apologies for it being slightly a day behind, but we had to because I had to do the Rui, sir, forgive me, forgive me, sir, Rui of Costa video. He's back. He's back in a big way. So this is how the team is going to line up. I am going to do a Fu Champions weekend with Sir Rui of Costa. And it does mean bringing back Mikatarian to the team. Mikatarian, not bad at all. Not too bad. Of course, this might change depending on what we get on our rewards in a moment. Um, it does mean Hazard drops to super sub. Sterling drops to super sub just for this weekend. It's silly just to get Rui Costa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sir Rui of Costa and not use him to see if he's as good or does he have you know as much of an impact this year as what he did for us last year. Loads of people ragged on him last year, but we loved him on FIFA 18. So it'd be interesting to see how he does. Is he still the passing machine that he was on FIFA 18? Does his play style work? In FIFA 19, last year we had a catalyst on him because it just seemed to work better. This year we're going to have an engine on him just to up that agility balance because I think that's very important in 19. I think the agility and balance and getting away from a player, being able to turn quickly is a lot more important in 19. So this is what the team lines up at. So let's have a little bit of a flashback, shall we? Let's go to what episode are we on now? This is episode 105, I believe it is. So episode 105 now. Let's go back to what? Episode 102 of FIFA 18 and let's compare the teams. So we have two icons, two prime icons at the moment. Three reds, four reds if you, encount, if you include the Lozano super sub. We've done all right. Top tier goalkeeper, top tier defenders. Conte I think this is a pretty good team but how does it stack up to last year right then this is last year's team at around about the same time around about the same time we've got icon goalkeeper if you remember we pulled van der Sar he does eventually end up going out of the team we're rocking that bronze bench <laughs> we are rocking that bronze bench but interestingly our defence is nowhere near as good. We're still rocking Danny Rose last year. We're still rocking Bayou. We're still rocking Valencia. Although Valencia was one of the meta right backs last year. Uh, and we're still rocking Garner Gate in midfield. Now, if you compare our midfield this year with a combination of either Sir Rui of Costa, Mikatarium, uh, Hazard, Sterling, our midfield is top draw. And interestingly, we're playing a different formation. Last year, 4 3 1 2. We loved it. This year, I know it's the meta for a lot of people. I'm not in love with it this year as much as what I was last year. Um, we do have Conte. Conte needs to be in every team ever, always. He's just that much of a player. And, and Herrera's Footmas card is in our team as well. We actually love this card. Interestingly, a Footmas card doesn't get into our squad at all this year, even though we did do two of them. And we do have the main man... So Rui of Costa in Cam. Interestingly, he won't be playing Cam this year for us. He's more of like an LCM kind of role. Uh, so is that his kind of positioning in Cam? We absolutely loved him. His passing is phenomenal. It's set up beautifully. And interestingly, we only managed to have one red in our team, which is the 84 Son. And if you remember, if he was with us last year, we held on to that card a little bit too long. There was better Sons out and we just, we still kept rocking. We still kept rocking the 84 just because it was red and we wanted to at least pretend we'd got something out of our foot champions rewards. And we have 
Hernandez up front. This Hernandez was an absolute monster for us. But I think... Oh, actually, let's look at our subs. We've got Lozano, we've got Keita Baldadio, and we've got Salah. Interesting. That's our three subs. And you can see just, just, just which way we look. No, that way. Just there, we have Maratta, who cost something like 400 and whatever thousand coins. We lost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of coins on him. And he doesn't even get into our starting 11 or subs. Good times. But I genuinely believe that this team, I think, we're, I think we're on track for being better again. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. We'll do this again in another 50 episodes to see, you know, if we're losing track and stuff like that. But I'd say on the 50 episode mark this year, our team this year was a lot better. And I'd say on the 100-ish episode mark this year, our team is a lot better. So all in all, hopefully this team does all right in foot champions. Um, we're just going to play... We're just going to go and play and try and enjoy, enjoy ourselves. Why can't I say the word enjoy? Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Uh, a few things to clear up. So we're back up to over a million. Obviously, we do have the two Sarnays that we invested 400,000 plus coins into. So that could be a mistake. We'll see how that pans out. There's the Sarne from the Sir Rui of Costa SBC that we that we sold. So that got us some coins back. And then some more of the Pickfords and Rain, Rainers sold that we paid a thousand-ish coins for. Uh, in terms of players that we still got to sell, from doing the Sir Rui of Costa, we've rinsed the duplicates 84s and 85s that we had in the trade pile. So that's looking a little bit thin. So we need to try and stock up to that as we come into Team of the Year. Um, and then... On the targets, remember we purchased uh, three three Townsends. One is still in the club, so we haven't used any Townsends. We haven't used him, and we purchased ten Fosters. We've got one still in the club, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we, uh, yeah, I think there's one in the club. So we used three Fosters. So that's not too bad. That was on the Sir Rui of Costa SBC, obviously. Um, and then overall, we're looking okay. We will do a proper club tour. As we go into Team of the Year, interesting that they've dropped Team of the Year a little bit early this year. I was expecting it next week in line with how they've rocked it on FIFA 18. But it seems to be a week early this year. So whether they've got another hype promo planned in a couple of months or not, I'm not too sure. Right then, so we've got Division Rivals and our Fu Champions. Now, Division Rivals, I was, you know, umming and ahhing about whether to take tradable, tradable packs or not for Team of the Year or untradeable packs for team of the year but we're still going to take coins just because we've we might lose a few thousand coins on the uh salas if we mess up so we're going to take the coins and that will cover us for any losses on the salas if we make and now we're close back up to 1.1 right then for champions room who have we got in this week's team of the week now this team of the week is very interesting because it's made a nonsense of a lot of footmas cards and just in general it's a bit of mare so i will show you how many team of the week packs we've got as well so the, uh, the hazard i'd love to get don't get me wrong not but i'm not too bothered if we don't get him because we've already got the left wing 93 the firmino if we get him fantastic but that makes a nonsense of his footmas um the Gomez, again, we was umming and ahhing whether we was going to get the Footmas card, but this kind of makes, I know the stats are slightly different, but again, this kind of makes a nonsense of his Footmas card. The uh, Milinkovic Savic, this this is worse than his Europa SBC, so Anderson looks great, Perea looks great, Rashford, that's the same, give or take, as his Footmas card. So overall, it's just kind of solidified how trash footmas was really so i don't know whoever we get we get um i did want to show you this as well so this is the off spill from the sir Rui of costa sbc we've got the gold players pack we've got a couple of overshoots of the upgrades packs and we managed to get ourselves four tradable team of the week packs but we're not going to do it for this team of the week because i'm not in love with this team of the week so we'll save that but we will open this gold players pack just for just you never know you never know. We do know. Okay, that, that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. Uh, and we don't get anything major on this. Look at that. Disgusting. 
but we will send those to the trade pile. Right then, on to this week's Foo Champions rewards. Let's go over here. Where are we? There we go. This is going to push us over the 1.1 again. So that's pretty decent. We did finish on gold one. Four coins. Superb. That, that's, that's, that's brilliant, that is. You work all weekend for four coins. So is this a visual glitch? We will see. We was on, what, 1 million and 80,000 or something like that. So we was under 1.1. Will that be a glitch? I mean, that number is... I don't know. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Four coins. <laughs> i tell you what. EA are having a cracking year so far. An absolute cracking year. They leak some of this week's Team of the Week early in rewards. Rewards are supposed to be locked to each individual Team of the Week. Um, what was the other thing? They put a FIFA 17 pack on the store. Just... Uh, Just what, man? Just, just, it's just lack of effort at this point, isn't it? So we do get 50k, so that should put us up to 1.13. So we'll check whether that was a visual glitch or not. And we've got two player picks and 200k packs. We might as well save the 100k packs for Team of the Year. Now, we're not going to, you know, you don't usually pack anything because the pack weight, weight is absolutely atrocious on Team of the Year. But we're only going to have to wait a, a week or so, so we might as well do it. It might even be as we're, I don't know. It, I don't even know what's happening. You, you will see this video after the 7th of January. So they might already be in packs. I, I, don't, I don't even know how they're doing it. Whether they're just announcing it and then they'll say these will be in packs at the end of January. I, I'm not even sure how they're doing it because this is being recorded before the 7th. Obviously, this is being recorded on Rewards Day. So we're a couple of recordings behind. But we will get there in tomorrow's video. It was just all because of we trying to get in line with the Sir Rui of Costa SPC. Right then, enough talking. Player picks. First player pick. Who can we get? We get 84 comes. <laughs> Does he? Oh, uh, right. So 84, we'll pick that one. Um, okay. Brilliant. Next player pick. Who we got? <laughs> Uh, 86 Skrinyar. That's got to be the best one. Hey, I'll take it. He's supposed to be a meta. <laughs> He's supposed to be a meta centre back. We're not going to have Walker's Pe Walker's Peters. Walker's Peters. Walker Peters. We'll go Skrinyar. That's not bad. 86. <laughs> 86 and an 84. Mm. Oh, it's giving me the tickles. Yeah, so it's just a visual glitch. We are still on 1.132. Yeah. Uh, do we do we do the packs? Oh, I don't know. Do we do the packs? No, no. Okay, we're not going to do them. We might as well save them. We might as well save them and see what happens. Right then, that is <laughs> that's tickled me. Right, that is it for today's video. So we get that man and Skrinyar in our two player picks. That is it. Again, if you haven't already, could you please? hit a thumbs up button on the video it'd be greatly greatly appreciated if you are new to the channel why don't you hit that subscribe button it's free might as well do it make me happy thank you but for now that is it we are out of here thanks for watching catch you in a bit